After decorating the circle, they always made sure that they go to the forest with three steel rod. They are going to make sure that they drive those three steel rod to the ground so that those steel rod can make a triangle shape, putting that circle in the middle. They make sure that the steel rod it is strong on the ground simply because of they are going to use another system which was very powerful and it was the biggest weapon so that they can go home with baits. They made sure that after they drove those three steel rods, two in front of the circle and one behind the circle, they made sure that they came there with a wire. Depending on how big the circle was, they might have a one meter wire if the circle is not that big. And if that circle that they made it is too big, they use two meter wire. Now, on both sides of the wire, they made sure that they tied that wire with old tube. It's either it's a tractor tube or maybe that tube came from, you know, a car. They were using the old tube to tie that wire with the tube so that they can hook those old tube to each and every steel. Like if, as they made sure that they tie it and it's strong enough and they are sure about it, they were making sure that they will hook that tube to each side of those two front steel rods which were driven to the ground. Then they will pull the wire backwards using the force of those tubes to allow them to pull that wire to the last rod which is driven to the ground behind the circle, making it a triangle shape. And thereafter, they will have a rope, a 10 meter rope, or maybe a 15 meter rope, depending on how far is their hiding place. And they will put a rope on top of the, on top of the rod, and they will take that wire that they're pulling with their force on top of the rope. So now the rope was placed in between a steel rod, which is driven on the ground to hold that wire, which has been stretched by those tubes, which has been pulled from two steel rods, which has been driven on the ground to make the triangle shape. And they also used the rope so that it can be in between to balance in case if they want to release the wire by pulling the rope, that means that wire will go back to the front of the circle with force. And now after they did that, they made sure that they take that rope all the way to a place where they want to hide. They will cut, you know, the tree branches and make a hiding place like a house where they will hide, where they will put their water and where they will have food because it was the whole day job. They were doing that during the day for the whole day. And from thereafter, when they're done with their house where they're going to hide, they were making sure that in front of the circle, they made sure that they put also a tree branch so that when they pull the wire, when that rope goes in to kill those beds, those beds will be stopped by the branch that they put in front of that sucker. It was just one of the masterpiece strategy that made them to come back with lots of beds every day. Now what they will do, they will select a place whereby there is tree around that place and they made sure that the location that they select it's visible. It is not hidden by a lot of trees. It must be few trees around so that the sun can shine bright to the circle. And they made sure that they pour water in that circle so that when birds are flying from where they were sleeping to wherever they're going, if they wanted to go and eat something, what they see, they will see a reflection of water and they will know that there is water. Let us go down to drink water. And now they made sure that they selected places whereby there is trees next to that circle, whereby those birds can land on top of those trees while they are checking a coast. Because after they did the whole trip, they go and hide and wait for those birds 
to come and drink water. And when they drink water, that's when they pull the rope. 